I'm trying to win a ring ASAP, so be ready. The level of confidence Victor Wembanyama has is something we've never seen from a European before. The French unicorn has had the NBA spotlight on him since he was a teenager, and so far it seems that he's thriving in it. I know I'm never gonna lose a grasp of reality and just uh, do some shit, you know. But let's see why Wemby is so self-assured and vocal compared to his European predecessors and why it might even work against him. I don't let myself be carried away, but yeah. It's cool. To start off, the most telling fact is that Wemba Niyama sees himself as the biggest inspiration for his game. I didn't look up to players for me to do that. I inspired myself in doing whatever I wanted to do. And yeah, that's something unusual to hear as we are used to players naming other legends that they grew up watching. Take for example Luka Doncic who was inspired not only by LeBron, but also Euroleague legend Vasilis Panoulis. I always admire him, you know, he was, he was a great leader. One of the clutchest guys ever. He was really clutch. But Wemby has a different mindset when it comes to inspiring himself and as he puts it... I want to be like no one else. What's even more surprising, when talking highly of himself, he's not afraid to name guys who he thinks he's better than. At first, Wemby gave some spicy statements to the French media. I don't know if it's pride, but I have a part of me that says that there should be no one in front of me. But then he went to Las Vegas for G League exhibition games and doubled down on his statement. This time even mentioning his top rival Scoot Henderson and making US headlines by saying if I was never born, Scoot would deserve first spot. And that was the first time I thought to myself, wow, this kid is cocky. He made me believe that even more when he started trash talking not only American top prospects, but Team USA too. You know, the Olympics are in Paris in 2024. My goal is to beat Team USA in the final. Guys, tell me when's the last time you remember yet undrafted prospect talking about snatching medals from the greatest basketball nation of all time. And let's highlight the fact that he expects to do that right after his rookie season. Plus, as you saw in the beginning, his goals extend to winning an NBA ring quite quickly too. Be ready. But of course, such bold statements bring not only attention, hey, Vic, you got ice in your veins, man. but a crowd of haters too. He retweets the highlight and he says, uh, let's wait and see what Giannis and Embiid does to him. And, and he finishes with God bless America, which also is funny because he's posting a highlight of a Czech Republic player dunking on a French player. I'm sure he silenced some of them with his incredible performances in G League exhibition games. Our first recognition of Victor was playing two on two with you. And you knew about Victor well before. And the great season in the French League. Yeah, and that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. But look at this. Look at this dribbling yeah. ability at seven. Come on, man. But many skeptics don't believe that he will stay healthy. That doesn't worry him. I didn't have any serious injuries, which is reassuring. We know that in the NBA, the medical support is the best, light years from here. So there is no reason to worry. Before we move on to explore why he's so confident in staying healthy and winning, make sure you're subscribed to our channel as we are giving away this Nikola Jokic jersey to one lucky subscriber once we hit 75,000. We've seen many American players who displayed insane levels of confidence and delivered outlandish statements. But Europeans usually tend to be less out there, at least the good ones. Nikola Jokic is the antonym for arrogance, Dirk Nowitzki is literally called the nicest man ever, and Giannis, even after winning an NBA championship and finals MVP, didn't dare to call himself the best NBA player. I am not the best player in the world. KD, LeBron, Kawhi, Luka, Curry, AD might be, but I am not. Hell no! You could say Luka is arrogant, but is he really? He's definitely confident and not afraid to show it on the court, but off the court? Not so much. We haven't really seen many loud statements from him, except from that time Phoenix Suns players trash talked him throughout the series and drew this response from the Slovenian. After that, Luka beat the Suns in Game 7 by 40 plus points, but again, that's just him being frustrated and shutting everyone up with actions rather than words. So why is Wemby the first European with such an attitude? I think the main reason is that no other prospect from Europe had so much attention and hype before their debut. Nikola Jokic was drafted with the 41st pick during a Taco Bell ad, Dirk came to the league in the era where Europeans were overlooked in general, and for Yanis, his growth spurt changed everything. You could say Luka was hyped, but was he really? He was definitely one of the most regarded European prospects ever, but even after winning the Euro 
Euro League MVP at 18 years old, NBA front offices still doubted him picking DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley, and technically Trey Young above him. Only after he came to the league and dominated in his first year, the hype got to where it was supposed to be in the first place. Got it. Here it in is. the corner, Luca. Oh. But as we've seen many times before and still see now, this level of early hype from the outside can become detrimental later. So far, it seems that Wemby is well prepared for those challenges and that's why he isn't afraid to speak out. Do you feel pressure? I don't feel any like pressure on my shoulders or what. Uh, and I think the reason is because I, like, uh, I try to live free. I, I, I'm sort of be like a free mind at, at all times. I see some similarities between him and LeBron in that regard, as 18-year-old James wasn't bothered by the pressure to perform immediately. There's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. I've been getting pressure since I was 10 years old. Genetics and childhood environment play a big part in mental toughness and early maturity. His agent thinks that Wembanyama was born for this, but he also has been doing a lot of work since his teens in order to cope with the immense pressure. One of his biggest mentors, former NBA center Ian Mahimni, revealed that Wemby began meditating daily in high school. He also carves out the time to read fantasy and science fiction before bed each night just to take his mind away from basketball. Otherwise, he likes to draw and listen to music, including surprisingly classical music too. Every game is a, a not work. Then there are busy days when he chooses not to touch his phone at all. For example, most of the time you cannot reach him after 9 p.m. That is quite impressive as Wambanyama comes from a generation that grew up with smartphones and social media. I guess those good habits and taking care of the mental side of things are the reasons why Wemby is able to be so confident in his ability, even though he represents statistically the not so confident Gen Z. And I think some, some players are really talented, physically or technically, you know, really, really talented, but their mind isn't like as good as their body is. Being mentally strong is not only important when dealing with pressure, but with his abnormal body too, as he opened up about it. You may not realize it if you are a normal size, but moving a body like mine is actually very hard. It takes willpower, and my mindset has always been to play the way I've always played. It's a lot more complicated than for someone who's six foot tall. Nevertheless, when Banyama is ready for any pressure coming his way, it's just something that's inside of me that's always been there. It could be basketball or just playing cards. Under pressure, I've been twice as good. I do like to hear that Wemby thinks pressure elevates him, but actually I think it could be his own undoing. The age-old saying, if you talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk, fits perfectly in this situation. Victor has already been talking about NBA rings and Olympic gold medals, but what happens when he faces his first hurdles? What happens if he struggles early or gets injured? How do those bold statements look then? In that kind of a situation, the pressure can really build up, and we've seen examples even from LeBron. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. When he was choking during the NBA Finals, we saw the biggest superstar meltdown in, in not just NBA history, in sports history. Oh, that Mavericks thing? As the chosen one became the frozen what? one. Just... That's why it's a risky game to play, but I love that he's taking this route. When I need motivation, when I need energy and I feel tired out, when I need a fight on the court and it's, it's hard, I always remember I'm free in that universe. I, I do whatever I can. And... I know what I want to do and nothing's going to stop me from doing it. Sure, his bold statements could be seen as arrogant and attract many haters, but I'm up for all the entertainment it brings. What do you guys think? Is Wambanyama being too cocky or do you love the attitude and want to hear more of it? Let me know in the comments below, check out BM Plus platform for additional basketball content, like this video and I'll see you next time.